Welcome to Factorio Base in a Book. My name is Nilao, so this is episode three of our Let's Play. Thank you very much, everyone, for following, watching, viewing, liking, and subscribing and commenting, all that good jazz. That keep, please keep it going. It's so awesome to see that there is a genuine interest for this uh, this playthrough. We are here. What we did last time was build our. Uh, maybe we can actually take that out. We built our iron and steel build. We got our copper build. Got it all the way up here, and it's looking great. What I'd like to do ne next is you would actually I'd want to make this one, which is going to be uh, where I built my hub. But, you know, I don't think that's the right thing to do right now. I think it's better for me to build science first. So that's what we're going to do. We are also at some point going to get an orb eraser so we can remove these ore patches. Um, the reason why I want to remove them is because it's it's the most logical thing to use these for this base. But if I'm going to make something that's a base in a book, then I have kind of determined that this one is where you have your initial materials and then the rest of the materials are coming in by train. That means we're going to take this one with a train before this one runs out, I hope. So let's uh, get up here and in order for us to even start building that, we're going to have to extend our bus and we are going to clear a lot of forest out. But first we need to clear out some biters. So let's give that a shot and see how that biter clearing can function. We're going to start by just putting down a defensive perimeter like that. And then start getting closer. There. All good. And we can go down here and start picking these up. Okay, looking good. And I will need to get further in here. Just putting half a stack into each. It's going to be super unbalanced, but it's going to work. Pretty simple. It'll be an easy way to clear out this. I don't want to be... Uh, taking out a lot of biters, but I want to just at least show you how it's done at this tech level. If we just go like this and go, hmm, evolution, there we go. It is now at 34%, which is kind of high for for where we are right now. And that's due to some of the random spawning, not random spawning, but the deliberate spawning as part of, ooh, that's not great. Do I have, a, have guns equip, equipped? Nope. Let's do that. Ah, okay, we're, we're pretty sturdy in this one, so that's not not a bad, not a big deal. Ah, uh, this one we don't have anything in here, so let's also pick that up. Yeah, did get the sense that would be coming. Make sure that we can actually reach things. And go back down here, pick these up. I don't think there should be any risk of losing any. Repair, repair, repair. And pick up. Heading up to the next. So that one is a lot more dangerous. So let's be a bit more careful about this one. I don't think I can take it, if I'm honest. I don't have enough, uh, enough here. It's going to be put in too quickly. I don't think that's... I should have brought way more. Yeah. Okay, so no one took any damage. I'm going to take some of this out. This one has way too much. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here. Let's see if I can repair. Ow, don't stand in crap. Okay, looks like we're making it. Okay, uh, there's one being shot at. That's kind of how it is. That's fine by me. Come on. There. Woo, made it. Yeah, so it gets a bit dicey at some point, especially when you have medium worms, but we, uh, we made it. We didn't lose any, as far as I can tell. We had 26 when we started, and we look to be still having 26. Good. All right. So I just wanted to do that so that it doesn't become like a thing where, oh, are you? How are you even dealing with biters? And there is just, well, I am not well, but I am. We can probably take these out from our 
my overlays. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to now clear a lot of space. And that's unfortunately going to take a lot of grenades and stuff. So uh, like that out here. So what I want to do is I want to extend up here just to get this one out. I might as well extend out here. That's going to be taking a bit of time and clearing the space out. So we're ready to ready to actually focus on the designs. That's one of the beauties of uh, of this part. I can cut out the boring stuff like blowing up trees and laying uh, tracks. So many explosions later, we have now <laughs> reached the point where I can, I've cleared out the trees. I put in the, blow, the sacred path here and there, put the power poles, all of that good stuff. It took, took a while, but we now have a nice big area that we can work on. And I am going to just start by grabbing some Oh, we'll take these out. Getting some of these items all the way up here so we can start utilizing them on our... Oops. On our next tile, because it's actually not this one. It's the one up top that we want. So let's get all of this just up here. So what is it we need? We need iron and copper and we need steel. Yep, we need steel for the ammo. We need stone bricks as well for the walls, for the military science, because we really want military science while we do this. We want to get the first three sciences up and running. And then over on this side, we need the green circuits as well. So let's bring that up as well. That's going to be need for the green science, green circuits for green science. That's the only thing that needs green science at, or green circuits at this point. I'm going to take, I'm not even going to take those up now that I think of it, because those will not need to go up. So this green science goes just up a bit here. And then we can go over to the other side where... We will now get everything in, and I don't think I can actually make as much as I'd like of all of these things. This stone is kind of useless to drag up there because the next thing it's going to be used for, it's going to be used for the hub for rails, but then aside from it, it's going to be used for purple science for rails. And that, my friend, is just a bit of a way off. So here we have, again, we have some space, and this space I'm going to go into my blueprints these are from the masterclass so if you are in doubt or want to use it uh, get the masterclass blueprints then they are available in the respective masterclass so you can either go to my paste bin uh, there you can go to the, the best place if you want to look for my blueprint is go to my discord there's a channel called masterclass that will have direct links to all the videos and all of the blueprints so that should be kind of the best idea so this one, I actually am not particularly happy about, to be honest. If I'm just looking at it, then I do think that there's a problem with it from Masterclass perspective to what I want to do now. Now, see, at this point, I was assuming that this would be built using the stone, uh, the small electric course. And I really don't think that's the way I want to play this. I think I'd much rather play it like this so that we get it through these. Like that. And that, because that also means that I can get these in the middle. Here, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get this. So the first thing we want to do is red and green signs. Because that's kind of the first step. Even though we don't have any red and green signs we can do. It's just that if, whoops. There. No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, if I don't build red and green signs, there's really no point in getting... Oh, God, this is bad. Okay, I, I just not getting it. <laughs> um, sorry. If I don't start with the red and green signs, then there's no point in making the military signs because I have nowhere to combine it. And they need to go into the same blueprint. So that's how we are going to do this. And I'm going this one. And I'll figure out how to do the power poles for this one if we need more than one or two. There. If you're more interested in, or if you are interested in the actual designs of this, then uh, I do encourage you to check out my masterclass. They are still available and still very much updated, which is making a slight change to this one because, well, I think that fits better with where we are tech-wise in uh, this playthrough. If, I, if you're following along, then this makes a lot more sense for you. I think that we have transitioned into using medium power poles now because they are fully automated. These ones are deliberately made blue while the rest of them are made yellow. There is no reason to use blue for this. 
I mean, you can do it for consistency's sake, but uh, hey, at this point, we still have to consider a bit about the pricing of these. So I'm just going to make them yellow. But from here on, I think I'm just going to make everything blue now that I think of it. It's just, yeah, probably just easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. And that one seems good. And then that one seems good. And then I'll give it this one down here. And this one up to here. All right, that's good stuff. And we're going to get iron coming in here. And we're going to get copper coming in only on one side, though. So the first things first. This is the iron branch from the first line. And go up. And we'll draw the next ones. Uh, we're probably going to do some... Oh, yeah, we definitely need to do some... Some resupply of everything we want here. There we go. And I'm going to get the copper from the first line. There. And this will be our... Yeah, it's going to be a bit tough to get that accurate all the time. But we'll do it this way. This will go all the way over. And I know that it might not be necessary to do this, uh, to do these undergrounds. But later on, when you drag the next belt up, it's so nice to have this being just already jumping over the lines. Technically jumping under, but you know. There we go. We got everything going. Everything seems to be up and running. Ah, that kind of sucks. Then it would be better out here. Okay, that's not great. Okay, so that's that one. Next up, we will need to do our military science. So that's going to be the next one. Where do we want our military science? Well, that's again going to be here. Whoop, that is upside down. And ooh, did I did it like this. And I think I like this position, I think. Or is it that one? I'm just looking. From here I go one, two, and from here I go one, two. Yeah, like that. And you can see here we have transitioned completely into blue. And I think that's also just smarter to do. Just build it in blue if we can. And this will make quite a lot of military signs. But it is also going to be really nice to just have it for ammo, for clearing biters, and for grenades just for clearing things i think the the way the science is designed is really neat that it's it's basically it knows what you need uh-huh yeah i can't do both in one okay never mind um yeah it knows what it is you you are going to need at this point in the game and then tries to make the science from that it makes perfect sense all right let's um not get the inputs though do i have some steel i do have a bit of steel so let's make two steel chests here for these two at least that's done. This one will be an output. I think this might not be outputting fast enough, though. Hmm. That uh, probably is. There. And out. And drag the other belts in. I do like paint by numbers in this case. And I hope you do as well. Because that's kind of the whole point of this uh, series. Is that I'm going to give you blueprints for these city blocks. And you can then apply them as you like. To your own base or not or just use them as inspiration or use the sort of the sequence of things i build in because i think that's one of the biggest things that you can get wrong as a new player is the sequence and scale of things to build like okay so how much military science do i actually need and uh, okay i just don't have enough so we'll just build this and then do another supply run might as well take everything we can so this is the stone bricks and this will be that. And as I build this, I realize that I won't be able to remember what goes where now. That one was, this is the iron and I'm out. Cool. This is good. Well, not some of it's good. I'm going to build the, the lights as well because we don't have lights in this location. So let's get the lights up and running. And maybe it's a good idea to make all the red and blue inserters as well because the red and blue inserters actually help us 
uh, so I don't have to deal with that there. They have to be two, otherwise they're just not fast enough. Yeah. Oh, and these have to go out. And this is inbound, inbound. And that's also in, it's the red one that handles the output. This will be one grenade per minute, and this will be two ammo per minute. And I only need one of each, right? Yeah, one of each. So I'm deliberately quite a, quite overbuilding the amount of grenades, uh, sorry, the amount of, let me get this straight. Uh, I'm overbuilding the amount of ammo by quite a lot. That's why I'm pretty sure that I can always put things in because I'm going to need it for all my all my attack runs. It's just nice to know that you can have the military science operational and still have a surplus oops. surplus of ammo. Also, at some point I'm probably going to take this ammo that comes here and then bring it out to a line all the way here that goes all the way around the base. That's kind of my intention to have a perimeter. All right, this is good, but I don't have any ammo. I don't have... Let me just do that one so we can figure out where the car is. Car is hiding here. Someone's been bumping into the things or exploding them. Okay, let's move down and what is it we need? Oh, we also need a lot of the Okay, so you know what? You know what we're actually going to do here? We're going to start on the first cleanup. Oh, no. We're going to start on the first cleanup, though. That's uh, that's interesting. Okay, remember, when you do cleanup, always pick up the inserters first and don't pick up broken inserters. So we will not be making signs at this location anymore. I think that's a really... Oh, how did... So the whole thing was powered by that power pole? That's insanity. There. And these are the input inserters. And then I can take the, this out. And I can take this out. And then we can take all of this out as well. And this one as well. There. I think this is good that we are able to take these out. Oh, take out the inserters first, you idiot. Because now we have to pick up from the floor. It was a five second rule, so it's not spoiled or anything. We can still use the science pack. And boom. How many do I have? I have 21. What an odd number. One, two, three, four. I mean, by three, yes. And what are the things that we wanted? It was definitely more of this. Yep. Uh, that's a pretty awful situation to be there just get rid of that just get rid of that i don't want any of this in my inventory anything else we want to get rid of yeah lots but that's not gonna happen uh let's actually just get in case we need to go out then this would be nice all right so we no longer make science down here and we now make it in our new science facility which we're going to design because the science facility i have in my master class i'm not super happy about it oh hold on by the way we should make this one actually work first instead of building the science depot. There. Yay. That one was the iron here. And I'm going to leap it over like that. All right. This one, copper, is going to be the next one. Since I'm pulling from the first line first, then I'm going to pull from the second line now. There. And this one will be the steel, so that's the next one we can take in. Come on. Yeah, get the steel. And steel will be like this. I believe this is the one. And it is. And stone bricks, we also need that. And coal, we need that. Stone bricks goes in first. I'm not going to drag the other one up here because I don't need it. And stone bricks go to... Uh, that's That was the steel one. There. There. Okay. And then the coal. 
Is that cool? Yeah, it goes into the grenades, so that must be it. That one. You might be wondering why I'm doing it in this way. So here I broke through. That's because these are inside the same four. So I'll uh, I'll take the ones that jump over. But as soon as, as soon as they will, they'll jump over all all four. But if it's something inside, then the one that will give way to make it go out. It's kind of complicated. That's just how I've decided to to build all of this. All right, that's good. That is uh, basically all we need. Let's uh, wrap this one on. Yeah, so what we have now is... Uh, you need underground for that. Pretty solid build here. And that gets us all the things we need. We got the military science. We got all of that stuff. Now it's time for us to build some... Uh, here. So in this one, I have... Let's see if we go through it. See, I'm using in this one some... Build weaving, and that build weaving is just always going wrong. So I'm we're gonna try something different here instead. I'm gonna just basically say, hey, I want to have everything going into one belt. So that means I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, you need this many belts to make the whole thing work. So how can we pick up from four different belts? Well, the first one's gonna be easy, because that's just gonna be like that. Uh, second one's also going to be easy because that's just going to be like this. Next one's also going to be kind of easy because that's just going to be like this. And now comes the difficult part. Like, I, if I bring it out here, it's not going to work. So I kind of have to do it here and then I can do this part. So what you're seeing here is that the outer one goes in here so that they can, it can be picked up by this long hand inserter and be pulled in. And then I need that one and I need that one. And that is a nice little unit. Now, where do we want this? We definitely kind of want it up here. I'm not going to have anything on the top side of this. So I'm just going to get... We have it in our hand, so of course we need to rebuild it, but let's at least just shuffle it a bit around to figure out where the best place to build it is. Let's just build it here. So I don't want it to have be this close, but maybe like two down is enough. One down might be enough, like that. And then if we go this way, oh. That one, that one, and... I'm going to get two from the top and two from the bottom. So I don't think that's a... I think it's better to do it like this. How much is this? This is 10, 12. That looks good. And if I say I'm going to get... Oh. So the top four are going to be for the four sciences that we build up here. That's not going to be right now. And these last two here will be for the two sciences we have here, which means that one and that one goes in. So the military will be alone on one tile. That's a bit weird, but it is. And yeah. I'm just trying to think if this makes sense or it does make sense, but it doesn't make sense to move it one further. No, because at some point I will, I'll also have to do here. Oh yes, like that. Mm -hmm. And I will need to make beacons later on at this location and this location. So I can't get it closer than this. Okay, this is excellent. Let's build it. That one. And now we just need robots to build it. <clears throat> don't have it. I'm going to build like 24. I don't really have an opinion about whether 24 is the right number. There are so many variables like uh, you forget to start the next research. I mean, I'm just taking the variables that are relevant to me. And did we not? Oh, we do have a few researches we can do just to top off uh, the rest of the science, except that we now don't have a science facility there and this one is easy because it just goes straight through and next one is also pretty easy and and 
And then I get these. Here, here, and here. And then we put lights in at the other spaces. And lights, oops. Light. Light, light, and light. Oops, I forgot that we're not actually done with this. There. And then I can take all of this out. But nothing gets taken out because I don't have robots. And then we're going to be there. Because I don't want to have the other things just lying around. Cool. It's time to get the stuff inbound. <clears throat> That's actually a really nice and easy and honestly simple way to make science here. That one. And then I do have some signs in my inventories that I need to get rid of. I'm obviously going to insert it all the way down here so that it gets always prioritized to go out. That one. And this one goes here. There. So that gets prioritized to go out. We got the signs going. Let's have a look as it goes up here and fills this one in. In the meantime, this blueprint here, let's see, uh, the coordinate will be, this is 0, 0 0.0, 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. So this is 1.2 and it's being called science because that's going to be, well, red, green, military science. That's what we got. This one is probably going to be more than what we can support. So if I just had more of these, I could probably... I could probably make another line, and I did think, do think 36 is a fine number to have here. I could just take all of these gears because that will help us tremendously. Um, are they actually getting there? Take these out, and I can make... Oh, look at that. 12. Perfect. Uh, except you really don't want to make these when I have those coming in right here. Good. Let's try it. That is... Five plus seven. There. That should be enough. And I'll do that one and just get another row. Hey, let's uh let's let's go all in while we can on this. I think that well not all in. Do be mindful that as you extend with more chaining, it uh, loses a lot of productivity on the first ones. It's not really a big deal at this point, but at this point you can see that they spend a lot of time just shuffling it onwards to the next. And as it grows bigger, then as the, as the science goes faster, then it gets more and more pronounced the how much time is spent just for these to shuffle it into the next. Because as they take out, you can see the other ones stop working because they simply empty. But I think this will keep up pretty well with the, the speed here. And we are getting rail signals, we're getting all sorts of good stuff. So what I'll do now in this one, I'll be making some solar panels and batteries at this location. That's what I always do. And also some uh, laser turrets once we get that. That just fits perfectly together, but it's not right now. The next thing we want to do is build a hub so we can decommission this base. And uh, by decommissioning this one, we might have it around for redundancies. Then it's going to be just making it just a bit simpler. Uh, then we also have it open for what we want to bring in, whether we want to bring si uh, oil in. So the next one is definitely building the hub, decommission this part, and then we can bring in the oil. I think we'll bring in the oil from the side, but I could also bring it in from the side. Now, it shouldn't be dictated by where these are because that doesn't really matter. I'm just thinking whether it's better to have oil on the same side as we have. Uh, if you bring oil in here, we also bring coal in on the side, so that's, I think that's fine. We might do... Uh, we might do trains before we do oil, but I think this one's just going to be fine. You can see it already down to 425, and I really don't want to run out. So that is... Oh, we're being attacked. Okay, well, that's a good news because that means we're going to be wrapping this one up. I don't know why that would be good news. But I hope that you like it. I hope you really enjoy it as much as I do, this whole structured approach. And you can see that the base is coming together nicely. We can have definitely have stuff up here that we need to build, and so on and so forth. But hub next then either trains or oil 
And after oil, it's definitely going to be the red circuits that's up here, and then blue signs up here, and then working towards robots. So you can see, like, there's there's definitely a very clear progression to all of this. If you find this interesting, be sure to hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. There's lots of uh, structured building and uh, logistics games here on the channel of all sorts. If you want to hang out during the live stream where we are testing some of these designs up before I build them here, then uh, do come on over to Twitch. It's on Twitch TV slash Neelons and it, I'm streaming this series on Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays and it is something completely different because it's an absolute mayhem in terms of uh, of uh, bombs being drummed on the base and biters spawning everywhere. So it's very different from this organized approach but it is super fun. So. Thank you everyone for joining. I will see you guys either here on YouTube, on Twitch, or maybe on Discord, or you know what, maybe even on Twitter. See you guys around, take care, and as always, stay effective.